There is a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God, a place where sin cannot molest near to the heart of God. O oh, Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God, hold us who wait before thee, near to the heart of God. There is a place of comfort sweet, Need to the heart of God, a place where we are safe, your meet. Need to the heart of God, O oh, Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God. Hold us who wait before thee, need to the heart of God. There is a place of full release, need to the heart of God. A place where all is joy and peace. Need to the heart of God. O oh, Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God. Hold us who wait before thee. Need to the heart of God. Oh, Jesus, blessed Redeemer, sent from the heart of God. Hold us who wait before thee, need to the heart of God. Amen. We will do song number 520. Savior is Jesus, my Lord. Oh, let's sing. A wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord. A wonderful Savior today. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock, where rivers of pleasure I see. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock, the shadows are dry, thirsty land. He hideth my life in the depth of his love, and covers me there with his hand, and covers me there with his hand. A wonderful Saviour is Jesus, my Lord. He taketh my burden away. He holdeth me up and I shall not be moved. He giveth me strength thus by day. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock. The shadows are dry, thirsty land. He hideth my life in the depth of his love and covers me there with his hand. And covers me there with his hand. With numberless blessings each moment he crawls and filled with his fullness divine. I sing in my rapture, O oh, glory to God, 
Fosa Sharidim as mine. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock. The shadows are dry, fast silver. And he hideth my life in the depth of his love. And covers me there with his sand. And covers me there with his hand. He had in a place to the rock that shadows are dry, thirsty land. He hideth my life in the depths of his love and covers me there with his hand. And covers me there with his hand. When clothed in his brightness, transported I rise to meet in him clouds of the sky. His perfect salvation is wonderful love, a shout with a million on high. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock, the shadows are dry, the still land. He hideth my life in the depth of his love and covers me there with his love and covers me there with his hand. Amen. Uh, Nicole, you can give us a choice. Yes. Or uh, 529. 529. Under his wings I am safely abiding. Under his wings, could we please sing together? Under his wings I am safely abiding. Though the night depends on tempters are wide, still I can trust him, I know he will keep me. He has redeemed me, and I am his child. Under his wings, under his wings, who from this love can save under his wings my soul shall abide, safely abide forever. Under his wings what a refuge in sorrow, how the heart shiningly start to his rest. Often when her thoughts no bow for my healing, there I find comfort and there I am blessed. Under his wings, under his wings, who from this love can save Under his wings, my soul shall abide, safely abide. Under his wings, oh, what precious enjoyment There will I heart till life's trials are all Sheltered, protected, no evil can calm me Resting in Jesus, I'm safe ever more Under his wings, under his wings who from this love can save you? Under his wings, my soul shall abide, safely abide forever. Under his wings, under his wings, who from this love can save you? Under his wings, my 
it, my soul shall abide, safely abide forever. Amen. Elder Sam, you can give us your choice. Number 99. Be no dismayed, could you please sing together? Be no dismayed, whatever be tired, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. God, church. Praise God. It's a great evening that I can see many of you have come to bring our petitions before God this evening on our second day of the 10 days of prayer. Let me welcome you all, those in the congregation, those in the church building, and those who are worshiping online, let me welcome you to this day that we have come first to thank God and to praise him for taking care of us 
since we had our 10 days of prayer last year and we are studying a second one again. We are here not because we are the best, but because of God's grace and mercy we are alive today. And we thank God that he has made it possible for us to come before his presence this evening just to praise him and to bring our burdens, to bring our petitions to him because he's our great God. Yesterday we had a very great beginning from the book of Genesis chapter 18 when Abraham told the man of God, when you pass through here, please don't pass me by. And here we are today. God has not passed us by. We are going to start our evening. Let me call us, please. Open for us number 516. 516 from our church in. All the way. Let's sing together. All the way my Savior leads me, what have I to us beside? Can I doubt his tender mercy, who through life has been my guide? Every peace, divine as comfort, here by faith in him to dwell. For I know what ever befall me, Jesus doeth all things well. For I know what ever befall me, Jesus doeth all things well. All the way my Savior leads me, Jesus winding path I tread. Give me grace for every trial, feed me with a living bread. Though my weary steps may fall time and my soul our thoughts may be gushing from the rock before me, Lord, a spring of joy I see. Gushing from the rock before me, lo, a spring of joy I see. All the way my Savior leads me, all the fullness of His love, perfect rest to me His promise. In my Father's house above, when I wake to life in mortal wings, I fly to rims of day. This my song through endless ages, Jesus led me all the way. Jesus, my song. Ages, Jesus led me all the way. Amen. Let us pray. All the way my Savior leads me. And all the way, Lord, you have led us to this hour. There are those on the way, Lord, may you lead them to reach safely as we come before your presence. There are those on the way that, Lord, you have led them to are watching online and participating in this special evening. That, Lord, you have called us to come before you and to thank you for the one year that you took care of us. And as we start this year, Lord, and we are on our second day of the 10 days of prayer, 
May there be meaning at the end of it all. Your children have come before your presence with burdens, with petitions, with tears, and others have also come to thank you, to praise you, and to adore you, Lord, because you are God, because you saw us through this moment. At this point, Lord, we just want to bring our petitions unto you, petitions of disease, petitions of income, petitions of joblessness, petitions of shelter, petitions of food, the Lord, you may provide for us. And this evening, Lord, I just want to, in a special way to ask you to be in our midst, to set your hand on mercy and your blessing to each one of us. That even as your man servant is going to come before you, Lord, may he decrease as you increase. May you hear your voice through him. May we learn your word through him. And at the end of it, Lord, may we leave this place better than we came. And at the end of it, Lord, you be prepared us to come closer to you. If you don't come soon, Lord, may we continue with your mission on earth. We thank you and we praise you, Lord, this evening. Prepare us to hear from you in Jesus' name. Amen. Good evening again, brethren. Good evening, those online. I, we have members of the diaspora in the congregation. Diaspora, can I see? Westland, Kilimani, Karen. I recruited a few. I just want to invite them that we do one piece. Those that I recruited for the diaspora. You know, if you are, if you are not around Donom, you are a diaspora person. May you come for a piece with a piece of please. You can also recruit others. A special item. If you are beyond beyond the pipeline, beyond the buruburu, all of us are. Thank you so much. Four nine three. Like the woman that the well I was seeking for the that could not satisfy. And then I heard my Savior speaking from my well that never shall run dry. Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this testing of my soul. Bread of heaven, Feed me till I want no more. Feed my cup, feed me just like make me whole. There are millions in this world who are craving. The pleasure of the things are for. But none can watch the wondrous treasure. That I find in Jesus Christ, my Lord. In my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting on my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. In my cup, fill it up and make me whole. So, my children, if the things this one gave you, 
Give hungers that won't pass away. My blessed Lord will come and save you. If you need to hear my humble prayer, fill my cup, Lord, the lifting up, Lord. Come and quench this dusting of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup. Um, thank you <clears throat> what do we say to that diaspora choir what do we say to the diaspora choir yes diaspora now for our children, the 10 days of prayer will start at 7. Starts today. 7 p.m. The 10 days of prayer for our children starts at 7 p.m. today. We still have our prayer requests box on my left. You have something, you have a special petition you want to send to our God this evening. You have something you want to communicate to your creator this evening. Pass it on and our pastor will pray for it. Our speaker this week and next week for the next 10 days of prayer is none other than our friend, my brother. How many of us received the good news from our pastor last year during the cow meetings? Yes. Our pastor national chain comes from Motel District in uh, Oma Bay County. Is it Lake? Lake? Southern Kenya Conference. Yes, it's, it's interesting. Southern Kenya Lake, something. Pastor Hotel, a pastor Ocheng, is a good friend of mine. And they pray for me every morning. I wake up, I find the center prayer since last year. So we have remained connected. You better remain connected with the pastor. So he's going to bless us the next 10 days, the next 80 days. One day happened yesterday. Today we are on the second day. And may I now welcome him to break the bread of life. Welcome, Pastor. I greet you all. Good evening. Good evening once again. I'm battling with a question. I'm studying a story. There was a young man. He thought it wise that it was time to fall in love. He engaged a lady, and the proposal was positive. The lady having accepted the proposal, this young man went silent, but when later in the day asked, what went wrong that he went silent for this long? This young man said, I'd been engaged in a very busy schedule. I could not find time to talk to my beloved. It took a span of almost one year. This lady was longing to get even a word or a message from this young man because their hearts were joined together. But nothing positive would come on board. Towards the end of year one, the lady was left with a decision to make whether to continue with this relationship where the other partner was so busy for the other fella. But the lady reached a conclusion by saying, I'm letting this relationship go because my partner is so busy for me. 
could be we have gone through the same narrative. Some people we felt were so dear to us along the way when we could be making some calls unto them, they were not picking our calls or they would respond back by telling us, I'll call you later, but they have never called up to today. Maybe when checked with you and asked, is the relationship between you with that lady or that man, is it still intact? You can say, without any reservation, that pastor, I purpose to let it go because he or she was too busy for me. At such an hour, I want to call all of us with one request that let us not be too busy for God. Let us not too busy to have a moment of prayer in life. Because the very moment we're going to be busy for God or with God, for God, we are busy that we don't want to engage God, our relationship may be cut. And if we don't want to be inclined with the prayer, we may be losing many things which we don't know. Before I take you to the presentation of the hour, have you ever asked yourself, what are the things I've gained through prayer? Some are known to you, some are not known. But allow me confirm unto you, there are many things which you own. You may not know their origin, but you own them because you or somebody else purpose in his heart or on her heart not to be busy with this item we call prayer. I'll take you through little passages today and my objective today May we be not too busy to pray. May we be not too busy to have a moment with God and ask God to come unto our rescue. Not only me or you. May we not be so busy to engage God for the life of our brothers and our sisters. Because your success up to now, maybe somebody would be given a microphone would testify. As he or she sees you progresses or scale up in life, they will say, this is an answered prayer which I offered. So I'm calling the attention of the church, the physical, the members who are here, and the online viewers. May we be not busy for God or not busy to pray. I took a narrative and I was asking various questions. What could have happened if you could have purpose not to pray. Number two, what could have been the story if you had purpose not to pray? I want to take you through the study I had in the Bible this evening. Uh, then I'll come with an item I want you to take home. I was asking myself, through key areas in the Bible, if these people never got an opportunity to pray, if they would have just said, I'm too busy to pray, what could have happened? And I wrote in my leaflet here, I know very well that Anna had a co-wife called Penina. Penina was really the source of pain unto Anna. Because this woman, Penina, was blessed with children, but Anna didn't have. It was a journey of pain, a journey of trouble, which Anna had to go. But one day, this woman spoke to herself, and this is what she said. This is the problem I have at hand. We like keep on shedding tears. We are in the book of 1 Samuel. Or I need to take this unto the Lord through prayers. And Anna got a conviction that I need to pray over this. The Bible records 
we meet this lady in the temple and when we ask of her, what business do you have today in the temple? The woman will tell you, Pastor, I've gone to the temple because I want to pour my heart to God. I have purpose to pray. I don't want to be busy for God. I want to pour my heart unto God through prayer. And the Bible records, we know the outcome of that prayer. The woman called Anna is holding a baby boy called Samuel in her hands. And when asked, where, what is the source of this young man? But Anna is saying, I'm owning a child today because I purpose to pray. I'm pleading with all of us, may we not be busy for God. That is one. Point number two, I'm praying with all of us, may we not be busy to pray. You don't even have an opportunity or a space you want to give God in prayer. I'm asking a question in that text of 1 Samuel chapter 1. What could have been the story if Anna never prayed? The answer is very simple. Baby Samuel could have not been there, but because Anna purposed to pray, we are seeing baby Samuel today. That is not the only example I wanted to cite this hour. In the book of Acts, it is written in chapter 12, if you can take it through verse 5. Peter is imprisoned. And he is imprisoned behind the Roman chains. But the Bible records, the church at that hour took a moment of prayer. And when you ask of them, why are you praying this hour? They will tell you, Pastor, we can't keep quiet or silent. We can't be too busy to pray. Because if we do, Peter will not walk out of the prison doors. So the church purposed to pray and they interceded for Peter. After their prayer, we know what unfolded in that account. The angel comes into the prison and chain Peter, open the doors, and Peter, Peter is walking free. Somebody is asking, why is Peter walking this hour out of the prison? And somebody is saying, because the church at that hour purpose to pray. My main request for all of us, I'm repeating, I want it to sink. You may be too busy to do many things, but I plead with you, may you not be busy to pray. In as much as of all your busy schedules, find a space to tell God what is in your heart, what you need from him. Find a space in your heart to tell God, my brother so and so is battling with this, oh Lord, may you intervene for him. My sister so and so is struggling, oh Lord, may you come into our rescue. Don't be too busy to pray because they are blessings if we purpose not to be busy in prayer. I know of other items in the Bible. The Bible records, I want to pick the common ones. We'll go through them one by one in the course of the eight days remaining. A common prayer of Jabez is known, the book of Chronicles chapter 1, chapter, 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 through 10. The Bible records, and Jabez prayed unto the Lord. When you do verse 9, it says, uh, the background of Jabez is a background of pain. And when Jabez was aware of his background, he said, to change my story, I have to pray. And Jabez pleaded with the Lord, three items only. Oh Lord, uh, may you bless me. Oh Lord, uh, may you enlarge my territory. Oh Lord, uh, may you protect me from harm and danger. And the Bible records, and God hearkened unto the petition of Jabez, and he was answered. The big question is, what could have happened if Jabez chose not to pray? If he was too busy to pray, he could have not have enjoyed the blessings of the Lord. His territories could not have been enlarged. And the hand of God, which always protects his children, could have not been upon him. But today, Jabez is enjoying life with the blessings and his boundaries enlarged, uh, and he enjoys the protection of the Lord. When you ask of him, why are you enjoying all this? Uh, Jabez will tell you, I purpose to pray, and I said, no, I'll never get busy 
for God. Church of God, I'm pleading with all of us. The book of Mark chapter 1 verse 40 to 42, the Bible records. A leper went unto Jesus, just a leper. A man who is an outcast in a society. He said, uh, without talking to God, my story will not change. He said, I have to go to him because it is only God who can change my story. Without taking that path, this man was to die a leper. And he walked straight unto Jesus. He told Jesus, it is through thy divine power that my story can change. The Bible records as per the wordings of the book of, uh, the book of Mark. It says, this man was pleading with Jesus. He was looking for the willingness. Could be along the weaker. We'll find something on the willingness of God. He told Jesus, if you are willing, you can make me clean or you can heal me. You can make me, make me regain my health. And this man found the willingness of God and regained his health. Somebody is asking, if he could have not prayed, he could have died a leper. But because he purposed not to be busy for God, or he purposed not to be busy to pray, today he is walking a clean man, a man of leprosy. Other accounts shares together with us. We know the account between Isaac and Rebecca. The Bible records Rebecca took so long in the book of Genesis chapter 26 verse 21. Rebecca took so long without having, before having a child. But when Isaac the husband looked at her, the man said, I must pray for this lady. When the prayer was done, the experience of the twins was enjoyed. When you ask of Isaac, do you know any importance of prayer? Isaac will tell you, because I prayed, my, my wife now today has the blessing of Isaac and Esau. I'm pleading with all of us, don't be too busy to pray. I'm pleading with you, you may be running many errands in life, but find a space for God. Find a space and find a time to whisper a prayer unto the Lord. Because the Lord wants to do something in your life, but he's waiting for you to knock his door through prayers. This woman in the book of 2 Kings, if Elisha, Elisha would have not prayed for this woman in the book of 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 33, the son is dead, the Shunammite woman. But the story has it, because Elisha prayed, the young man or this boy came back to life. He never got busy to pray. What can we tell about the account of Daniel, the Hebrew boys? The Bible has it in the book of Daniel chapter 2, verse 17 through 18. Nebuchadnezzar has given out a degree, decree that all of them must die. But Daniel comes up and says, Lo and behold, wait a minute. I can create time and pray. If I don't create this time to pray, we're going to die, the four of us, plus other people. But I don't want to be in the business of being busy. I want to give room so that I can tell God something which I need. So Daniel is in the business of finding space out of his busy schedule to tell God we have a death threat before us. But I have a word to share with you. The Bible records. When Daniel, Daniel created that time to pray, God hearkened unto his prayer. And the dream or the vision was revealed. And all of them were safe. I'm asking you once again. Have you lost a relationship with somebody because you are busy? Have you lost contact with a man, with a human being, because you have happened to be a so busy person? I'm pleading with you, even if you have lost contact with people because you are busy, don't lose contact with God. I'm pleading with you, you have lost contact with men out of your busy schedule. I'm pleading with you, may it be true that you have not lost your contact with God. May you create time. Amidst everything, I'll create time for my God because if I don't, Many things will consume me. 
somebody was asking out of the examples I've given, what do you think if Hezekiah, when God told him you're going to die, you would have not prayed God, what could have happened? You could have died. What do you think could have happened uh, to this thief we meet on the cross? This thief told Jesus, remember me. Because of those words, because of that prayer, Jesus remembered him uh, and will meet him at the right time. Because he chose not to be silent. He chose not to be busy. What do you think could, could, could have happened? This leper we have just mentioned could have just died a leper if he chose to be busy to walk unto Jesus and share his burden unto Jesus. What do you think could have been the story of the sinking Peter if he chose to keep quiet not to talk to Jesus? Maybe he could have been drawn forever. What do you think could have been the story of Jonah in the Bible without him offering the prayer in the belly of the fish? What could have been the story? Jonah could have gone. The story of Jonah could have not been a testimony today. I'm calling you, my sister and my brother. If you keep quiet, if you get too busy for God, if you get too busy for prayer, some of the testimonies which need to come out of your mouth will not be experienced. But I'm calling all of us. Our presentation today, don't be busy for God. Or don't be busy unto God. And don't be busy unto prayer. What could have been the story of Anna if he could have chosen not to pray? Too busy to pray. Could be her heart could have been troubled forever and ever. And could be Penina could have enjoyed everything over her. But because she chose to stop being busy to pray, the story changed. Not only Samuel came in her life, but other children came. I'm sharing this with you. Maybe you have a blessing because of prayer. But if you choose not to be busy to God or to be busy to pray, other blessings will still flow upon your path. I want to make my call. Prayer has solved problems in the life of children in the Bible. Prayer has made a good number of us, if not all, to have testimonies. Prayer, as I give this presentation, prayer wants to work and add another testimony in your life. My big question is, The call this evening is very simple. Are you saying, Pastor, I'm choosing not to be busy to God? Are you saying, Pastor, I'm determined now to take a new path? I have to create time to pray. Because if these great people have just counted leaving others aside, if they could have purpose not to pray, these stories could have not been a reality. So allow me share this. I can't forget this account. They have just worshipped the calf, the golden calf. And God is out to kill. Arun, in that column of where people, where God wants to kill them, but the Bible records Moses comes up and he pleads with God. He tells God, Oh God, don't kill them. Not only Aaron, but the children, the family of the Israelites. The Bible records in the book of Exodus chapter 32, verse 9, when you do it through 14, the intercessory prayer of Moses and God's decision to relent of his anger. At times, God is out to kill or punish. Maybe the church or a member or you or one of your family members. But we need to come up. Let us not be too busy to pray. Let us not be too busy to God. Let's come up and say, oh God, I must create time for you and with you. As we walk home, 
in the corridors of our offices or in the corridors of our families. Have a moment with God. Atakama uko kazini, even if you are at workplace. Even if it is a one minute talk with God. Tell God, I need you. And don't pray for yourself alone. Pray for others. Because in the account I've just shared with you in the book of Acts, the church prayed for Peter. In the book of Genesis, chapter 20, verse 17 to 18, Abraham prayed for other people, for those women whose womb were closed. In the book of Genesis, chapter 26, it is recorded, verse 21, Isaac prayed for Rebekah. As you pray, pray for other people because our prayer will help them. Our prayer will help them. But if we choose to keep quiet and get busy not to engage them in prayer, they may die because of us. So as I conclude, I'm believing that God has spoken to me and spoken to you. Our call is very simple this evening. Don't be too busy to God. You will cut the relationship between you and God. Don't be too busy to pray because you will be blocking other testimonies which you need to give. From the beginning we shared. What if these people I counted never prayed? Their situation could have been worse. Because you have stopped praying or you have purpose to be busy to God or to pray, maybe you have worsened your condition, which should not be the case. We want to reverse everything, church of God. Take an oath with yourself and with your God and tell God, as I take a walk with you from this evening, I'll never be busy to pray. I must create time to pray because prayer is a solver of problems and issues in our lives and the life of other people. Number two, prayer corporately solves the issues amidst us. So I plead with the church at lunch, may we not be busy to pray. May we not be busy to God. Because if we choose not to be busy to God, the story will be different. I want to call us to pray because it is a 10 days of prayer. Out of the items you're going to enlist, my item number one I'm presenting to you, ask God, God help me amidst my busy schedule, may I find time to pray. My prayer item I'm giving you number two. Out of my busy or many schedule, oh Lord, help me not to be busy for you. I got an elder mentioned yesterday. If you can find time, come, we engage in physical moment. Not that uh, online is equally good. But out of that, I love some people here. I may not know you by name. But could be somebody said today, this evening, amid my many busy schedule, I must have time with God. That is why some people are here. I love that. That is a step we are making as a church. We may be having many things, but let's say together in our hearts and let's take a new direction. In my busy schedule, I'll never be busy for God. In my busy schedule, I'll never be busy to pray. I can remember some people, when food is before them, they are reminded, you see, we have prayed. Bad of us. May God help us to be prayerful ladies and prayerful men. Amidst everything, even if it is work, sneak, just as you can sneak to help yourself. Sneak even for a minute to whisper prayer unto the Lord. So we are moving to the moment of prayer number one. Tell God, help me, my Lord, not to be busy to pray. Number two, help me, O oh Lord, amidst my busy schedule, not to be busy for you. I may be busy for any other person, 
but not for my God. Point number three. I thank you, God, because when I prayed, you gave me a testimony. But the journey is my life is not yet over. There is something you still need to do again. God, as I come before you this evening, and as I pray, God, hearken unto my prayer and give me one more testimony. Just as our nature is, we'll break into two. Share with your brother or your sister your prayer item. Take five minutes, we pray. After that, we'll come, we'll reach a moment where we're going to kneel down together, all of us, and I'll lead the prayer. But before we move to the session of two and two, you need to pray for yourself. We'll have a moment where we're going to stand, all of us, and speak your heart to God. After five minutes, we'll join two, two. Share your burden with your brother or your sister. And let's pray over it. When that is done, I'll take the lead to pray with you as a church. As we do that, if you are still having your prayer item, bring it to the prayer box. We can do a song as they bring their prayer items to the prayer box or choristers. As you're going to do individual prayers, I encourage you, if you have been busy to pray or you have been busy to God, that is a moment you can confess your heart to God. Oh God, forgive me. I've been so busy for you and so busy to pray. Oh God, forgive me of that sin and give me a strength to start a new journey. Oh, every blessing tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never when see. that is done songs, when oh, that is done we'll stand up for a prayer great. individual prayers tell God the burden of your heart the confession I want you to make if you have been so busy to pray tell God forgive me of this sin if you have been too busy to God just plead with God forgive me of this O oh Lord and give me strength to start a new journey. Amidst other things you are presenting to God. We are moving a session of five minutes. Individual prayers. Pour your heart to God. Thank you, God. May God hearken unto your prayer. May God hearken unto your prayer. May he give us a new heart not to be busy to him, not to too busy to pray. Because prayers change our lives and we need to change it more and more. So when we are done with individual prayers, we'll move to a session of two, two by two. I'll plead, if you had a session yesterday with your brother or your sister, have a new partner today. May you not have the same partner. Let's move to a session of two and two, if you're done with individual prayer. Two by two. You can share.
two by two. Two by two. If you are still missing a partner, you can raise your hand. If you are missing a partner. It's okay, now you can share your prayer item to your friend. Thereafter, you move to a moment of prayer. of every blessings tune my heart to sing thy praise 
streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of Lord is pleased. Teach me ever to adore thee, may thy safely to arrive at home. Jesus sought me when a stranger, wandering from the faults of God, he to rescue me from danger, interposed his precious blood. Oh, to grace, our greater data, till he am constrained to be. Let thy goodness, I can't find me closer still to thee. Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. He my heart, oh, take and seal it. Seal it for the God above. To God be the glory, great things see us done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son, who yielded his life and atonement for sin. And open the light gates that all may go in. Praise the Lord, Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people. Jesus, the Son, and gave him the glory, great things he has done. We thank God we are moving to the last bit. We want to move to a session where all of us will kneel down. As I'll be leading in prayer, before me have the prayer items. Let's pray. Let's join together and pray. Let's all kneel down. Unless you have a health issue. Eternal Father and Eternal King, I thank you for the church members before me and I thank you for the online viewers. I'm laying my hands on the prayer items of thy daughters and thy sons. And these are the burdens they can't carry alone, O Lord, may you intervene. I make a plea unto thee, my master, as you have presented unto us today. If the, those children of thine never prayed, their story could have not been the same. 
And equally, these daughters and sons of yours have prayed over these prayer items because they want you to make a new story out of these. O oh God, I plead with you and I implore you, may you hearken unto our prayer. These burdens written in papers, may you carry them and go with them away and leave thy daughters and sons with the lighter your yoke which always come from thy throne. If before me in this basket we have moments of disappointment, may you take dis those disappointments away and turn them to appointments. If before me in this basket, O oh Lord, we have the tears of thy daughters and thy sons, may you take those tears away and may you give them joy. If before me in this box I have families who are struggling with one reason or another, O oh Lord, may you take those struggles of the family level away and may they enjoy the fruits of their marriage. If in this box, O oh Lord, there is a prayer item of the things the devil has planted in the life of thy daughter or thy sons, or we make a plea unto you, O Lord, may you plant them off so that they might, your child may remain thine and thine alone. We pray with you all the items in this prayer box are known to you. O God, we make a plea, may you answer us. May we say only one thing, we made a right decision to come to the Lord and bring our prayer items before him, because when we come before him, he always answers us. Allow these daughters and sons of thine walk home with a testimony because you have changed their story since they prayed and they were never busy not to pray. Allow us walk before thy sight with thy blessings. That is my humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. What we say, church, we are very happy that uh, today we have come in large numbers compared to yesterday. I'm sure by the time we reach the fifth day of prayer, the church will be full. Those who are watching online, if you are able to make it physically to this sanctuary, please make it tomorrow. At this point, I just want to say, ask my sister Carol to to stand up and say hello. Caro, we were on this together. Can you say hello to Joshua? Thank, Thank you so much. We are coming to the end of the second day of the 10 days of prayer. If there were 10 days, 10 steps we were making, two or seven, how many steps are remaining? Eight steps as we walk towards the gates of heaven. I would like to invite uh, my elder Sam Obago to give us a quick report. Yeah, uh, to give us a report of today. Now, pastor has committed time to meet us privately. Today, he was here from one o'clock just to pray with us and to meet us, to meet your spiritual needs, to have a, a session with him. This evening, if you are not in a hurry, pastor will be here again tomorrow at the same time. If you can get time to come ahead of the 5.30 sessions. So if you are not in a hurry to go home right now, Pastor will spare a few minutes to see some of you and tomorrow as well. After my elder finishes, I will call upon Elder Nyonje to come and dismiss us for the day. Elder Sam. Good evening. Uh, mine is just to share the numbers. Yesterday we were 27 of us in church and 60 online 27 physical 60 online today online has hit 77 
and physical, we are 56. In line with what has just been shared, I think tomorrow we can pull one more person so that we double these numbers. Huh? Because 27 to 56 means we are more by 100% of what you were yesterday. So could we kindly just call our neighbors, call church members, and let's all not be so busy for God. Otherwise, Elder Nyonje, welcome. Good evening. Thank you, Elder Bago. And uh, we just want you to welcome you to tomorrow's service. Let's keep time. And as you dismiss, let's rise up with the, as you say, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. So let's rise as you say the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. May you have a safe journey home.